Okay, I just had a little bit of the video camera just to get on to manual focus, so hopefully um, it's not going to be so blurry for you. Um, so I'll do, what I'll do is I'll repair this and then sand it back so you can get, have a good idea of how, how well this works. So here we go. So, now I'll get my uh, file, my needle file, and we'll just uh, put that off quickly for you to see. Basically, very, 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 very clear, quickly. Um, do another bit for you over here. Let's do that. Let's put you up here. See how that comes up. And obviously, if you have a little a, a dent in there, um, again, um, just you know, fill it with some plastic, and um, you'll be good to go. That's just with a really, really coarse file. Um, well, I mean coarse file, that's a, probably the coarsest grit file sandpaper I'd use on the, on the moulded pieces. Obviously once you've taken that down to say, I don't know, 1600 to 2000 grit, um, you won't notice it, you won't know there's a crack there. Um, just do a, a piece on the actual wing. So we've got a little bit of a, a concave um, profile having here, happening here. So I'll just take it roughly off with the uh, flat file first. Where the where the crack was, um, there's a little bit of whiteness on the one edge, and that's where they put that blob of uh, plastic just to stop it from um, splitting further. So you know the, the crack hasn't gone further; it's just stopped um, right there. So basically, yeah, it's a, it's a lovely little tool. I've used it to fill up. I did one part where um, the top didn't uh, print at all well, so I actually just filled it with the the pen um, and that yeah just bridged it and then turned it back down that worked really well as well so it's this what we do is we'll fill this hole and that little crack there and see how it looks afterwards uh, <laughs> spit it up a bit by accident oh, my. Yeah. 
the outside by going around. Then you get this, make sure this fuse is to the sides. The really cool thing as well as warm like this, you can actually almost push it to shape as well. I'm going to cool down a bit. I'm just going to sand that off quickly, see what we're left with. So what, what, you know, what I've learned with the 3D printing and ABS is you're not always going to get it perfect. It's nice when you do get perfect and you don't need all this extra rework. But until I can start printing in a, a heated chamber, I'm always going to need to do this. And it's just knowing what's acceptable and what's not acceptable with your moulds in relation to uh, what you can get away with the, the moulds and the, the mould finish. So, so you can see I've got a little bit of, I suppose, undercut, welding term. Um, so I'm just going to go around the edge, of the edge now, where that undercut is. I mean, the, the great thing about working like this is so immediate, so um, you can work very, very quickly. Another really good thing to do is, I should have brought it, I just have a, um, Sorry, the, um, the other thing I should have said was um, with your needle files, um, the two sort of go hand in hand. Just have a uh, little wire brush so you can clean out your teeth and your files. Um, you know, it really makes all the difference. But, I mean, and the ABS doesn't really clog it up like PLA would because it doesn't get as hot um, when you're working with it. So you can, do, you can still obviously see where, the, where, where it was, and I could work that. You, you, you can't see it, but um, hopefully that's going to be a good idea of how I'm repairing my ABS molds because they're a bugger and they crack because ABS is a bugger like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and break this along one of those bits that we repaired. Nope, that's not. What I'll do is I'll break this and then um, we can have a look at the well from the inside, which would be quite, quite a nice thing to do. Let's make sure that's in focus. Okay, so that's not long. Um, so. But it's, it's, it has put like a full penetration well through there. Um, and the surroundings are going to break before the. Uh... I mean, that's, that's breaking too easy for my liking, really, ABS. It shouldn't really. I just wonder if my temperature's a little bit low on that. Or I'm under extruding a little bit on that as well. It's good to break, break up your parts as well. You learn a lot. I have a sneaky suspicion. I'm under extruding a tad. Mm. But like I said, this was a really dodgy print to start off with, so. Okay, um, let's have a look. See the dial, the dial point there. 
Um, that's where we filled it. Um, that's breaking way too easy. They don't normally break this easy, uh, I promise you. Okay, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to speed up and get the rest of the repairs done and then we'll move on to the next step.